Clopidogrel is an antiplatelet agent and ADP receptor antagonist. Clopidogrel is used to prevent unwanted clots. Talking about the mechanism of action, it works by irreversibly blocking the P2Y12 ADP receptor on the platelet surface. This drug inhibits the binding of ADP to the P2Y12 receptor on platelets and thereby inhibit the activation of the receptors required for platelets to bind to fibrinogen and to each other to form blood clots. If we look at the pharmacokinetics of clopidogrel, it is a pro-drug. Effectiveness depends on the conversion to an active metabolite mainly by cytochrome P2C19 enzyme. Poor metabolizers of cytochrome P2C19 exhibit higher cardiovascular events than patients with normal cytochrome P2C19 function. Clopidogrel requires oral loading doses for quicker antiplatelet effect and food don't interfere with the absorption of drug. Elimination of the drugs and metabolites occur by both the renal and the fecal routes. Now let us discuss about the dose of clopidogrel. So the dose of clopidogrel is 75 mg daily once a day. Clopidogrel is indicated for acute coronary syndrome, recent myocardial infection, stroke and peripheral artery disease. Adverse effects of clopidogrel include bleeding, bruising and epistaxis which is known as nosebleed. It is generally well tolerated unless bleeding occurs. Clopidogrel is contraindicated in patients with active bleeding. Clopidogrel has boxed warning for thrombotic thrombocytopenia purpura as a side effect. Clopidogrel is a major substrate of cytochrome P2C19, so watch out for interactions with other medications like phenytoin, diltiazem, rifampin, fluconazole, and herbs such as St. John's wort. It will also interact with any drug or herb with antiplatelet or anticoagulant properties. Avoid in combination with omeprazole and isomeprazole because they inhibit cytochrome P2C19 enzyme. In the end, let's talk about some clinical pearls. Clopidogrel is a drug of choice in stroke if there is a contraindication or allergy to aspirin. Before starting clopidogrel as an antiplatelet drug, test to check for cytochrome P2C19 genotype. Clopidogrel should be stopped 5 days prior to elective surgery and should not be used with omeprazole or isomeprazole. Lastly, clopidogrel needs 3 to 5 days for inhibition of platelet aggregation and show its full effect. So that was all about clinical pharmacology of clopidogrel. Hope you like this video. For more pharmacology pearls, keep sharing and keep supporting us. Thank you.